You see, when we talk of Malix, my viewers and subscribers, Malix is a combination of different viruses, which include Newcastle, which includes IB, which includes Gombolo, IBD, which includes Fallopox, and all diseases. The incubation period is three months because from day one, one week, one month, two months, it, it, start, it starts showing its colors or its signs at three months. So my viewers, when we talk of how do we minimize or how do we control or treat Malix, if you have not vaccinated this Malix at day one or the first 10 days, my viewers, don't expect to escape from Malix. The only solution is to come to living agriculture because we have that medicine. We discovered that medicine from plants. Next year, God willing, I shall be describing all the plants you need to use as a reward to all our subscribers. Because I know those who are in Ghana, who are in Nigeria, who are in Zambia, who are in Madagascar, in Somalia. But Somalia I don't expect because that's a Sunday to go land. We don't expect to be having these plants. But all those tropical lands which have plants and forests, we shall be giving you plant by plant, God willing. Now, Malix, the reason why we need to vaccinate Malix, we may be having different farms. And of these farms, assuming Brian has his farm, then Hajat has her farm. Sam has his farm. Hannah has her farm. And of which of these farms each has its disease. And once these eggs are brought for hatchery, assuming Brian's farm has Newcastle, then Hajatis has IB. Then Hannah has IBD. Then Sam has fallopox. In the process of hatching, each chick will be sharing or transmit the, that disease from another farm and it will make up to Malix. Malix is, is to be vaccinated between the first 10 days exceeding 10 days when you are to be using the chemical medicine, don't. The signs and symptoms of Malix, one, loss of appetite at three months. Two, loss of weight at three months. Three, massive death, no cure using chemical medicine. But as Universal Farm Care Health Solutions of Living Agriculture, we have that medicine. But, get me right, if you discover that they have started losing weight and dying, please, we don't need it to be blamed. That's why I always advise whoever is viewing, if you are not certain that your chicks were vaccinated against this Malix disease, start immediately, before the stage of three months. As, li as living agriculture, all our chicks are vaccinated at day one after combining all these vaccines. Why? Simply because it is not that all farmers have access to these vaccines. This is why 
day one, we combine Marex, we mix Newcastle, we mix IB1, and Gomboro, this is IBD, plus Fallopox vaccine, and we inject at day one. Because we have those farmers who cannot accept that chemical medicine are made from plants. So we vaccinate using this, advising them. But once you take this, please take our medicine. Our medicine is packed in one liter, two liters, three liters, five liters, and ten liters. And each liter costs 30,000. You always call Mutebi. We don't know the price, please. Portraiture medicine, a liter, costs 30. If it includes delivery, it becomes 42,000. Within Uganda here, but outside Uganda, then it may raise to 52,000. A liter. Now, Marex as a Marex is done, has no chemical medicine. I need to be very right about that. But as living agriculture, we have that medicine. And our plant's medicine works in two ways works as vaccines for vaccinations. Two, works as medicine for treatment. And all those our farmers whom we have ever supplied our chicks are using our plant's medicine. Our brothers and sisters in Kenya have experienced that. I have a brother in Zambia, Nicole, have got that. Then our friends and brothers in Rwanda, Emma, have received that. So please don't hesitate. Malix has no chemical cure or has no chemical medicine apart from our own medicine. Now this is done for Malix. We are going to see our... Second disease, it is NCD, which is known as New Castle Disease. NCD stands for New Castle Disease. The signs and symptoms of New Castle Disease one, dropping of wings, two, loss of appetite, three, Shaving of the neck and the head. Four, green diarrhea. Finally, massive death. Has no chemical medicine for treating Newcastle. It is only living agriculture which has that. What do you need? Because I know YouTube as a channel. It has several farmers. It has several people. But to find where you can get all what you are supposed to get, I bet there is no account which has ever endeavored to share the knowledge with other farmers, apart from living agriculture. That's why when we talk of hunting for support, you turn up. Newcastle, if you are to be using the chemical medicine, have to be vaccinated at first day. Day one. Then you repeat at seven days. Normally, ordinarily. Now, once you vaccinate at first day, then you repeat at seven days. You need to repeat at 21 days. If you are using chemical, because what I need to be very clear, normally 
as people who made research and who are ready to support the farmers, all chicks need to be vaccinated three times in a month. Day one, at 14 days, and at 28 days. Why? The reason is, for living agriculture, we combine all the three medicines or vaccines. That's why on day one, it's an injectable vaccination, including or involving all the viral diseases vaccination. It is not done anywhere else. They don't have that knowledge. And even if they come to our videos, they cannot say that, how can we contact these people to share that experience and knowledge? Living agriculture is a friend and is a brother and is an educator to all people. We don't have jealousy. No, because in medicine, we need consultations and we share the knowledge. But it is only living agriculture which can give you that. Other people are mean and selfish. They don't want to know. And if it comes to using our medicine of universal portraiture, if vaccinated at day one, it is just four drops in the mouth. Using our plant's medicine, vaccination at day one, it is four drops in the mouth. We repeat the second vaccination at 14 days in the mouth. We repeat the third vaccination at 28 days. I don't know whether I'm rushing. I say, if you are to be using universal farm poultry care or chore, when you vaccinate at day one, don't revaccinate at seven days. Revaccinate at 14 days. When you vaccinate at 14 days, 21 days, don't miss it. And vaccinate at 28 days. Why? Our plant's medicine has all the plants which handles all those diseases. You are on living agriculture channel with me, Rigale Isabachiwinga. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters and daughters in Saudi, we pray to the Almighty God such that whatever you are go doing, God blesses your work. Because what we need, and the major objective of living agriculture is to create jobs for those who are viewing and subscribing, such that we minimize the crisis of unemployment. Portrait industry is the only project which has no films in it, which has no karaoke in it, which has no dramas in it. Why? What you need is to understand how do we take care of our chicken. One, you should be having a reasonable house which is well ventilated, which has the air, air room. Three, which is cleanable. If you were to be using deep litter, don't use the saw dust. It is not that all trees are the same. Some trees are stinking. Some trees are poisonous. If you cannot manage to get coffee husks, you can use groundnut husks. It will work. But so dust, this is the major cause of coccidiosis and avian flu. Then follow pox and foot rot. Because once the floor is wet, the husks or the coffee, I mean the, 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 the tree, the sawdust, will develop the heat. 
And in that process, we shall develop the fruit of our cheeks. For those who are well off, if you are using cages, there is no such diseases which will come and affect you. Newcastle is done. No chemical treatment which is available now worldwide. But as a living agriculture and universal farm care health solutions aggravate, we have that medicine. Don't hesitate. Even if you are outside Uganda, we deliver Zambia, South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia, countrywide and worldwide. Because what we are doing is to minimize the death and the costs people are encountering them.